everyone. Episode 22 of XRF7 is out now. You can find it on the channel. And the new EP, Cyanide Songs, is also out now on all digital outlets. In fact, you're hearing a song from it right now. And on to the reaction. Hello, we are from Cyberpunk Animated YouTube web series and music project XRO7. I am Mike. And I am R to the O to the double G. Erz. Roggers. Roggers. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be up. reacting to, what are we reacting to? Apocalyptica, Bittersweet featuring... Laurie Yulnen. Sure. Y Yulnen? Lullanen? Or Lonen. Is that like one of those cases where it's a silent Y? I just don't know. Lonen. I'm, we're, uh, we're massively apologetic if we butchered that name, by the way. So, uh, Lowry Lo <coughs> Lonen. Larry Yonen. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> just, just went straight, he ploughed through that name. <laughs> this is what he is now. We apologise. Steve Moses. You know, if somebody wants to spell it out phonetically in the comments, feel free. <laughs> It won't end of this video because it's already been done. <laughs> uh, and Vil Valo, who is from him, the band him. Good band. Oh, what? The actual vocalist? Yeah. I, I've never known his name. I just know I like him. Yeah, it's good. Him. You like him? Him. him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like him in him. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's got a Don't good... think too much. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just bypassing it. <laughs> no, I was just going to say it. Anyway. <laughs> he's got a nice, deep, sensual voice. And he's pretty good. Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Voice of the times that they were, um, you know, big. I mean, they're probably still big, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think they broke up. He's going solo now, I think. Uh, hence why he's in this. <laughs> I mean, this was nine years ago, I think. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is now. This is happening now. So everything is relevant. Okay. And this was a suggestion. So thank you to... Mint Club President on Discord. <laughs> You know who you are. Thank you. <laughs> right, let's react. <laughs> I feel we already have. <laughs> Just In the, the video. Name. <laughs> let's react to this. Okay. I'm expecting great things. Yeah, neither of us, neither of us have heard this ever before. Fresh to death. <laughs> Fresh as a daisy. <laughs> Violence. Already um, getting vibes of him, <laughs> just from like the orchestra music. Love metal, as they call yeah. it. There you go. There he is. Is that the Rasmus guy? Oh. The Rasmus guy. Oh, is it? As soon as he started singing, I was like, it's the Rasmus guy. It does look familiar. Got the feather in the hair. And the eyebrows. Their voices complement each other quite nicely. Yeah, they've got a nice blend, haven't they? Oh. Cracking up. Yeah, if you told me this was a hymn song, I'd say, all right. Yeah. Love metal. Struggling with that weed support. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's hard. A massive it's, struggle yeah. on there. It's like fighting the forces of darkness. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to, you know, exercise. Man, this is literally, for me, this is just feeling like it's a hymn song with the Rasmus guy <laughs> fe yeah. featuring the Rasmus guy. 
that's the problem when these people go solo because they're such a, an encompassing part a major part of the bands they're in it's effectively i don't i would say that the music that he's brought with him from being in the band him majorly affected this track because it just it does sound like a hymn track. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know too much about Apocalyptica. Are they the band? I don't know. There's, there's one band that uses cellos a lot and distorts the cellos. I don't know if it's them or I'm mixing it up with another band. But um, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's they definitely. It feels like a hymn song. Maybe it's yeah. similar. Maybe they're influenced by him. Maybe that's their style. But yeah, yeah. And like they both got distinct voices. So as soon as I heard the um, the 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 Lowry guy. I'm not I'm not gonna butcher his last name again. Just Lowry. That's the one I can pronounce. Um yeah, instant like oh it's Erasmus guy. You recognise the voice. It had that effect on my um teenage youth. What was that big Rasmus song? I can't remember it. Oh something about shadows or dark or Into the Shadows or something. It's probably not that, but <laughs> we'll go with it. That's maybe some of the lyrics, but it, I think it was just called Shadows. They did that song. And one other that I can't remember that were kind of like, so they're not really a one hit wonder. They're a two hit wonder. I'm pretty sure there was a second song, but yeah. Shadows was like the big one. Okay. <clears throat> that you get on like a greatest hits of like the 2000s. I believe you. And let's continue as uh, there isn't too much list song left. It's no, gone but pretty we've, fast. We've left them struggling with the Ouija board. Yeah, I mean, let's the see guys, how they get on with that. Jeez, you need to get your crucifix out or <laughs> Cellos. Mm. Yeah, you were on something like that. Got a nice rasp to his voice. I can't. Oh, lost my voice. He's lost his voice to the music. <laughs> You lose your voice to the music. Stay tuned. You can if you've got no technique, you just shout all the time. Oh no, they're upside down. Did a windmill. Bittersweet. Oh. Oh no. Possession. They both got black eyes. Oh no, the possess. They shouldn't have messed with that board, dude. No, never mess with a Ouija board. Yeah. Even if you don't believe in the stuff, just don't do it. Ah, oh, the ads are back. Mm. He wasn't on it. They infected us. Too much ads. <laughs> <clears throat> so it ended it as did. softly as it started. <laughs> yeah. It, ne it never like massively, I felt it like never like picked up a like a massively energetic pace in the song. Yeah. The cello's got more energetic, but not then not their vocals. Yeah, good point. Yeah, got I mean it was a nice bit of rasp in the Rasmus guy's voice, yeah. but it was The him guy. Yeah. He just he just did his thing, didn't he? Sort of. Oh he did. He he was so on his like yeah. This is my note, I'm gonna stick to it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my note, I'm sticking to it. This is what I'm known for. This is how you recognise me on this song. If I change it up, you won't know it's me. They both got great voices. It's it's true. It's sort of, it felt very orchestral. It got big, but not too big. <laughs> no. So like, it wouldn't be out of place on other tracks where, obviously, they got. I'm I'm just going to carry on using this word energetic with the cellos. That you'd have I don't know some like heavy guitar riffs coming in there and some like um, I don't know really loud um drums mm. so like, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be out of place but it didn't didn't go that far no it basically. didn't reach that i did like the song it's definitely one of those um those tracks that you'd uh have on like a, a mixed playlist for like uh maybe like a chill out mm -hmm. it's not one that you'd have for like say like if you're running <laughs> unless you're running in slow motion <laughs> really emotionally <laughs> <laughs> In a montage, Rocky oh, ma montage. Yeah, massively. Yeah. Oh, I would. That would go with a Rocky Mountain. <laughs> Rocky man Mountain. Yeah. Rocky Montage, man. <laughs> Rocky Montage. Yeah, just all the men in the montage. <laughs> Check out my montage. 
No. Oh. But on the Patreon, you might see. It. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, those are my thoughts on it. Like, you got any additional thoughts? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I pretty much said it. I thought it was awesome. It was very emotional. Yeah, it was really emotional. It was, it, as I say, as we both said, it wouldn't be out of place on a hymn record, it seems. No, and it probably wouldn't be out of place on Erasmus either. You know more about them than I do to say well, that. Well, I know so. about them from the, the, the definitely one, maybe two hit singles that they had. Okay. Um, it, it, no, actually, it is out of place on the Rasmus because they had more of like the poppy, rocky um, instrumentals behind. It never got to those heights. Okay. So <clears throat> definitely a hymn, a hymn track though. Okay. Okay. But look, look, you should like. Please, I mean, please like, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> comment. It all helps, and the algorithm is all good. It helps us. And please do check out XRL Seven because we got original music episodes, insane voice acting. Like this guy does good voice acting. And this guy, he does multiple characters as well, all in the same episodes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You know? But not many people can do that. Multiple personalities encompassed in one voice. <laughs> See how deadly serious I'm looking at the camera with that. Yeah, you, yeah, it's a bit unnerving. Sorry, people. I don't mean to unnerve you, but yeah, anyway. So, yeah, that was uh, them. And this is now. <laughs> <laughs> and do Love please it. check out the Patreon. I won't tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But it helps us out a lot. And, you know, you've got behind the scenes stuff, um, oh, stuff that you might not expect to see on there. Um, whether that's a good thing or not, you will only find out if you tune in. So, you know, <laughs> if you know what's good for you, maybe think about <laughs> oh, it. God, you get a bit aggressive there, didn't you? You know what's good no, for no, you. No, 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 <laughs> because I said maybe think about it. Normally, you'd say if you know what's good for you, you you'll do it. But, you know, you know what's good for you, maybe think about it. No pressure. No uh, pressure. There's absolutely no pressure, but, you know. Cheers, it. guys. We love you. See you later. Ciao for now. Bye.